All right. Um, here on uh, Sergey's website, he has a program for uh, UART test code. I put it into the assembler and uh, put it over here on the board. And it has a serial connection. So I come over to a uh, terminal emulator and we'll hit uh, reset. Oh, come on, focus. And nothing happens. And that's probably why we need to change the baud rate. I think it runs at 19.2. Let's try that. Oh, there we go. 80.85. That's all the code does. Let's print out 80.85. So, uh, looks like we're looks like we're all set to go. Uh, everything works now. Uh, every single chip on the board is being exercised, so uh, it is up and running. So now I just need to figure out why it wasn't running um, the basic program um, or the monitor program. So anyway, uh, all seems to be working fine now. Okay, so I got the 8085 board working. It wasn't easy, but this is what I had to do. Um, so on Sergey's website, um, he gives you the code here, tiny basic, uh, not PDF. Uh, where is it here? Uh, yeah, tiny basic 2.0 mini 85.zip. So uh, he gives you the source code in here and a binary file. Unfortunately, the binary file wouldn't work for me. I don't know why. Anyway, so here's Tiny Basic. Um, he also links you to a macro assembler. So if you try to actually compile his code, it uses macro instructions. So you need a macro uh, assembler. So he gives you the website here to a um, person in Aachen, Germany. I've uh, been to Aachen many times. Uh, it's famous for its printed cookies um, and a big church where uh, Charlemagne used to uh, rule all of uh, Western United States, uh, Western uh, civilization. So <laughs> anyway, Aachen is a nice place. Uh, they have uh, stinky sulfur water springs there too. I think that's what the big draw was in the old days. But anyway. Um, then we have the uh, macro assembler here. Uh, this is where he points you to. So uh, things that can be downloaded. So there's a Win32 version here, and uh, you can grab the uh, grab the stuff. It is a DOS program, so you need to load it into DOS, and then you can assemble the program from DOS. Uh, that's a bit ugly. Uh, I don't think you can read this because it's too small, but there's a tiny basic.asm and you can assemble it. Uh, you have to make sure when you assemble it, you use the dash CPU 8085 uh, option. So it knows that you're compiling 8085 code. And then it generates something called a P file. Don't know what that is. Then it gives you a program that is P to P to hex. Uh, p2hex.exe, and you run p2hex.exe, and you get an actual Intel hex format file. You take your Intel hex format file, and you go over to your Mini Pro, and you put in the hex file. And then once you get that up and running, uh, you're here. Uh, and when you press uh, the reset button, it says Tiny Basic. Yay! <laughs> and then you can write a program. Whoops. Which I uh, oh I don't have a oh yeah okay so we can say twenty uh, print uh, victory uh, this is not gonna work right ten print victory is mine twenty go to ten run yeah see these things you have to you can't make any mistake. No backspacing. Yeah, so then it works. Anyway, <laughs> so long way around. 
Um, it must have been a problem with the binary file. The, probably the board worked fine on day one, unfortunately. Um, it was just a stupid binary file. Um, so that's my journey. Um, once again, uh, go to his site, get his code, the ASM, assemble it for yourself, create your own hex file, burn your own ROM, and away you go. Gosh, that was easy. <laughs>